Let's look at Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop to see how to convert colors into Pantone book colors and see if they come up with the same values. So right now these are CMYK values. I'm in CMYK document mode. First we're going to select all of our color swatches and create a new color group with this folder icon. You can name it if you'd like. We're going to do selected artwork and keep both of these checked. Okay, now to convert these to a Pantone, you're going to select the color group and this icon will appear. In the flyout menu, we're going to go to color books and find Pantone solid coated. Now we're going to click OK. We're going to save changes to our swatch group. And it didn't update our colors yet here. They're still CMYK. As you hover over each swatch, you can read what color it's chosen. And you can also view the list you show list view. So what the global is on the color is when you go to your swatch if you wanted to create a tint you can use this slider. Okay let's go over to Photoshop and see if we get the same color matches. I'm going to keep this list here. I've already copied over the CMYK version of each color just so we could start with both CMYK values on the very beginning. So I'm going to use my eyedropper, I for shortcut, and I'm going to sample the color, double click on that swatch, and we're going to go to color libraries, and it's chosen 318 as the closest under the book Pantone Solid Coated. Okay, after I've selected the Pantone, I'm going to open my swatch palette here and I'm going to add a new swatch. Okay, I'm gonna sample the next swatch. Go to color libraries and take note of what which it's chosen. I'm going to view these as lists so I can read them. So if I go back to Illustrator, I want to view both of these to see what values we've got for Pantone colors. Let me take a screenshot so I can see side by side. Okay, so I've got this in the reverse order, but 177, 486, 156, 601, and 630. So if we go back to Photoshop, the only one that's different is this blue color. 